reflecting on the discussion last night about collaboration and competition and thinking how do we make this a little more fruitful. Um, because I, I trying to avoid two things. One is a sort of warm feeling that collaboration is just the nice thing and we should be going towards that rather than competing. Uh, and, and, but also to reject the notion that there's necessarily just sort of direct opposition. You either have more competition or you have more collaboration. So just thinking about it in, in these terms, um, I mean, there might not be anything wrong with it, but here is, here is your solo person. Um, not collaborating with anyone, not competing with anyone because maybe they've got the right status and you know, they're comfortable and so on. So they're, they're working away pretty much on their own, in their own discipline, in their own office, etc. Right? Nothing wrong with that, some great work. Right. Um, but more interesting are the other ones. So low competition and high collaboration, maybe a little contentiously, I thought of, of, of tribalism. And actually, tribalism is mentioned in the report on the first um, on the first forum. I, you've got people there who are happy collaborating with each other. They are going to keep it like that. So they're going to collaborate. Uh, anyone else out there um, might not find it that easy to get into that uh, little circle uh, and collaborate along with them. And you know, to some extent, that is inevitable. Collaboration with some means you're not collaborating with others. But there is a danger in some of the uh, thinking about collaboration that we shrink into a sort of tribalism that says, well, we're okay collaborating, thanks very much. We'll collaborate with who we're comfortable with, uh, but we won't necessarily be open to others. I'm expressing myself somewhat contentiously, but I assume that was the Okay, down at the other side is no collaboration, it's just straight competition. That's the jungle, the jungle world um, with its pros and cons. Um, I mean, there's no time here to go into the effects of the RAE and so on. I'd rather not, I mean, spent, enough, spent enough my time on RAE and history. But the, the question of what degree of competition is salutary and healthy, and where you tip over into unhealthy, destructive, time absorbing, um, um, you know, useless activity, is I think worth thinking about. So that leaves the high, the high, high, and I couldn't find a way for that, so I leave that up to you to think about. But my ba the basic thinking that I thought it's worth engaging in is what is the actual relationship between competitiveness and 